Hmm. What's in here? Come on, honey. Open. <laughs> oh, what? What is this? That's. You read it. This is proof that you cheated on me. What? Scotty is not my son. No, no, there must be some mistake. I thought so too. That's why I made more tests. Are you happy? I believed you, but you lied right to my face. Oh, George, I never cheated on you. Look, I've never been with another man, never, and... Look, if our son is not yours, he's not mine. Don't put on a show for me. Uh, I'm not. I have no desire to live under one roof with a traitor and someone else's child. Dad, are you leaving? Come here. Honey, honey. Honey, please don't go. Let's deal with this together. Deal? I have nothing here to deal with. Leave me alone. Isn't Daddy coming back? Doesn't he love me? No, Scotty. Of course no. Uh, he's just a little bit confused. Yeah. He's just a little bit confused. George, we, we need to meet. I did a DNA test also and Scotty is not my son. He's not our son. If it's a fake test. I was hoping it was a mistake. So I'll run a few more. So what are we going to do next? I don't know. Let's go to the court. Court? Yeah, I mean, no. Let's go to the hospital. Go where? Hospital you gave birth in seven years ago. Are you sure? Your DNA tests are nonsense. They're unreliable. Are that naive? You're just being scammed for a lot of money. There's always a percentage of error. I'm telling you, is it? Listen up. Either you give me the information about families who gave birth the same day that we did, or we go to the court and your so-called hospital will be closed faster than you blink. But I can't. I can, listen, I can. If I have to, I'll sue you. And then I'll talk to every single mother, every single mother. Because I need to know when my child is. Do you have a child? Yes, but, but I hope you will never get in this situation. It's up to you. In one hand, there will be a huge scandal and of course a court. Or in another case, we quietly get your so confidential information and go away. Your choice. Hey, 
George. Do you think we should? Well, we are going to tell to her. You have our child. <laughs> this is insane, George. What if, what if she's too young or too old or sick? Maybe she's Easy, sick. See, darling. We must know the truth, whether we like it or not. Hi. Can I help you? We have serious conversation to you. And um, to your husband. So? Mm, yes. Uh, well... Well... Uh, actually, I, I, I don't know how to start. Um, mommy, mommy, look! Oh, it's so cool. Very nice. Boy, I've never run so much in my life as I did when buying this guy. Hi, darling. How's it going? Buying a kite was actually your idea, honey. Uh-uh-uh. Go wash your hands, kid. You're, um... The responsibility that our children were mixed up in the maternity ward. Uh, what is your son's name? Michael? Come. Oh. Mm -hmm. Our Scotty. Is that some kind of cruel joke, guys? You're kidding, right? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, unfortunately, no. We just come from the hospital. We were the only woman in lab the Stop. day. I don't want to hear any more of this. That's enough. It's nonsense. You'd better go. What, but uh... leave. Please. I'll text you the address. <sighs> so, what are we gonna do? Do? are not toys or furniture to be moved from one place to another, from one life to another one. It's a trauma for them. And for us. For us as well. But they're not ours. How are we going to live with that? Can I have some water? Yeah, of course.
they are ours. How can they be not ours? Emilia, you and I will remember his first steps, how fast he was growing. I remember his first word. It wasn't mom or dad. It was dude. <laughs> I remember how he fell asleep in my hands. You guys have the same moments, I'm sure. He calls you mom. And he calls me dad. And I literally, every time he calls me dad, I have goosebumps. I'm sorry. Emilia, I'm sorry for saying too many awful words, for searching truth when the truth was right before my eyes. You and Scotty, my precious things. I almost lost you. But I promise, I will never lose you again. I will never give you up to anyone else, never. the water park this weekend? Yeah, and then we stop for the ice cream, right kids? Yes. See you this weekend, little boy. Yeah? See you later. High five. <laughs> Come. Okay, see you guys. Bye. 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 Good evening. Do you want my future boss to think I brought my grandma to the restaurant or what? You can call me Mr. Toker about your perfect body. This job interview is really important for me. I guess I'm gonna have myself Maggie for a main course. Please, do this for us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 